Good afternoon. We're here in Haywards Road, just to the south of Haywards Heath Town Centre, to see number 72 Haywards Road, which is the house you're looking at now. If I look to the north, to the top of Haywards Road, literally that's where Lloyd Bank, Lloyd's Bank and uh, Iceland, the store is. So literally three to 400 yards up the road is the main shopping thoroughfare of South Road. So very convenient. Just round to the left is Victoria Park, which has a uh, well, large park with a um, uh, cafe, tennis courts, uh, little kids paddling pool and so on. Um, and that's the shortcut to walk through to the station. And if I look to my south, literally 200 yards in that direction is Ashen Ground Road. If you turn right there at the bottom of Ashen Ground Road, you can skip across the railway line into Ashen Ground Woods. So come and have a look at number 72. Typically all the cars are going past at the moment. This house has been very, very nicely uh, looked after. The present owner has only been here a few years, but they've done various improvements, including creating this new driveway. So you've got parking here for, well, at least three cars with a bit of shuffling around. Um, and the house has got a lot of potential to extend. So you could extend it out to the back, maybe carry out a loft conversion, do all sorts of things. But it's very clean and tidy as well. So do come and have a look. If you're walking to the station, no lie, you should be able to walk down to the station in, in no lie, about 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes maximum from here. So inside, nice big entrance hall. Stairs obviously to the first floor. There's a little downstairs loo underneath. The stairs, just there, with a window. I'll go back through to the kitchen in a moment. The living areas are here. So you've got the front room, which you could say is the sitting room because it's got the bay window and the fireplace. So a lovely open fireplace in here. And as you can see, these beautiful old strip pine floors. And it's still got the original panel doors, which is classic for this sort of 30s house. So bay window sort of looking over the road. We'll look out the windows when we get upstairs. I mentioned one living room with a fireplace. And then the back room, this is really their sitting room, which is another lovely size room. As you can see, they've got loads of big sofas in here and another fireplace. Not sure if that one works, but lovely to have it. This room's been taken over by the children, as you can see. We'll go outside in a moment. When we get outside, you'll see the kitchen has had a, a small extension on the rear. Yeah, have a look around. So the kitchen originally would have gone to that sort of archway there. So these were only little kitchens originally, um, but nice little kitchen. A modern boiler there, window to the side, obviously built in oven and hob. Then you've almost got this like in-between area. I would have thought in the original house, this may have been like a, a rear porch way. Now you've got all the utility appliances there. And then this was added on, I think by the previous owner. So a little sort of breakfast area, very much an extension of the kitchen at the moment, but plenty of room for a breakfast table and chairs if you want to. And a little cat flap in that corner for those cat lovers. And then come out to this garden. This garden is west facing. Uh, so it's lovely. So the sun, I'm here at literally, it's one o'clock in the afternoon, so the sun's just come over the top. So the sun sets in the west. So this terrace is going to get the sunshine all, all day long, or all afternoon, right to the last point. So as you can see, the next door neighbour's actually done a lot of conversion that way. And so is the detached house to the side. So there's a lot of potential to go up into that roof space if you wanted to. But who needs an extension when you've got a big ship, timber chalet in your garden like this one? The previous owner, she used this as, uh, I think as children were very musical. I think this was very much the drum, drum and music room. Currently been, all the kids stuff has been piled in here as these guys have just gone away for a few days. But a great big room, so a superb home office. I don't know how much this, you'll see on the details later when we measured up how uh, big this room is, we'll measure it. But if I was guessing, it looks like it's about 14 foot by 10 or, or 16 by 12. It's quite a decent sized room. There's all power and lighting down here. So I guess with a Wi-Fi connection, um, this would make a great home office for somebody. Get a better look back at the house from this side. As you can see, next door did a big extension in their lock conversion. A beautiful garden, it's all been very well maintained. A little bit of useful space there. And these conifer trees are actually yours. So I guess they've been strategically planted to keep the privacy from the houses behind. A lovely garden. It's a big garden for children to play in, but if you wanted a bit of space to uh, go and kick a ball around, Victoria Park is literally around the corner. I'll just show you the space down the side, because there's loads of room down this side. Great for obviously uh, further bits and pieces, but again, you could possibly extend out that way if you wanted to. And come have a look upstairs. 
This side of town, you can walk to several primary schools from here. So you can walk to St Wilfrid's, you can walk to Warden Park Primary Academy um, and uh, St Joseph's, which is the Roman Catholic uh, primary school. And obviously this side of town also is the catchment area for Warden Park Secondary Academy in neighbouring Cookfield, which is probably about two miles away, but um, just as easy to walk to uh, Oak Hall School from here. So this bathroom, rather lovely, very clever cabinet with all sorts of things going on in it. But a lovely bathroom, nice vanity unit there. I don't know if this is Corian or granite. I think it's actually granite, so a very nice uh, sink unit. And you've got the oversized bath with a shower above. Well, I think originally in this house, I remember seeing this house about 20 odd years ago, I think it was a bathroom with a separate loo, hence the extra window to the side. And at the back, they tend to use this as their main bedroom, but I'd say this is probably the second size bedroom. So a nice size double. Great view out the back. And they've got a big range of wardrobes in this bedroom, so that takes up a bit of space, but we all know your wardrobe. So a decent sized double bedroom here. And then the front bedroom, I'd say is the slightly bigger one of the two, but their two uh, boys are, are using this as their bedroom. Right? So big room, chimney breast is there. Obviously they've got wardrobes either side, but you could have had cabinets made in, in that recess there. And again, the lovely bay window looking back across the road. And as you can see, I mean, Haywards Road is a bit of a mixed road. It's mainly all old, lovely old Victorian villas and a few uh, sort of 1930s properties. So again, another nice size double. And then the little front bedroom is very much a single. They've got this very much as a little storeroom with a wardrobe in there, but it's a, it's a comfortable little single bedroom, especially for children. However, I think whoever bought this house may actually consider extending the property. And if so, you may need to sacrifice part of that bedroom. What I've seen in this sort of typical sort of 1930s house is this main bedroom, you'd probably pinch part of the little bedroom to make an ensuite, and then the staircase up to the loft space would come back over these stairs. So literally going straight up that wall, up into the attic space. You'd have to build the roof line out to do that, but potentially you could put two very big bedrooms up there, or in some cases, people have just made a very big master suite. So that gives you a pretty good idea of the interior. Um, I hope the location has been summed up quite nicely for you here because it is a very, very convenient spot here. So this side of town, very much an old established residential area. And has very much uh, been very well up and coming as nowadays. Well, officially, this was always in the Warden Park Primary Catchment area uh, when it used to be called Hayworth School. Now there's a waiting list for Warden Park Primary Academy. But that gives you a pretty good idea of the inside. I've summed it all up. So a very nice character house in very good condition, big sunny west facing garden, a chalet down the garden and plenty of potential to extend. So you could stay here long term if you wanted. I hope that sums it up. Please come and have a